today is Thursday. Normally I would be at work. But I'm not. For a good reason. Because yesterday my Pop King Paul box was supposed to arrive. He switched up his shipping method and sent it UPS. And I just found out that the person that is now on my route is a young lady who is new and she claims that she attempted to deliver my package yesterday I was home all day yesterday with my like I my over here is a big window and it looks right out to the street I was waiting for that freaking thing all day long it might have just been some stupid coincidence where I was in the bathroom. I did go to Papa Murphy's Pizza and get a pizza. But that was at like, I don't know. She said she knocked on the door. I just... Anyway, so because of all that, I called in sick to work today. Because there's no freaking way I'm going to let a $250 Pop King Paul mystery box sit on my front porch all day long. We did have a little talk, and she now knows where to put my packages to hide them. So if I'm not home and I get another UPS delivery, we're set. Boom! Subscribe. Give it a thumbs up, uh, hit the bell, and leave a comment. Leave a comment. You don't have to, but it's nice. Uh, it's nice to hear from you guys. Did a live stream yesterday, last night. Um, Amanda's very first ever live stream appearance. So that was cool. Go check that out. Uh, the title of the video is I Am Batman. So, yeah, that was fun. I'm going to close my blinds a little bit because uh, it's super bright back there. I don't know if that's bad. It's still bright. But, okay, so day off. I don't think I'm getting paid. I could actually probably ask to be, to use some of my uh, PTO for today. This pay period is not the rent pay period, so I'd rather use my PTO, like for an actual vacation. Okay. So, a lot of you know that I send out these kooky little 80s trivia cards in my boxes that people buy. I do now have two that I'm keeping in my collection. These are collectibles now. And if you ever receive one of these things, you might want to frame it. I should start signing them. I actually think I did sign one recently. It might have even been Amanda's. But... I read every one that I put into people's boxes. Some of them are just like, what is that? But I like this one a lot. I read this in last night's live stream. What comic book onomatopoeia? If you don't know what the word onomatopoeia means, you should look it up because it's one of my favorite words in the English language. What comic book onomatopoeia did George Michael name his band after? Wham! Let's put that up here. Boom. Wham. And then, any of you that knows me knows why I like this one. What day do the Bengals wish it were? The flaw there in the language drives me crazy, but I understand why they say it. Which day, of, which day do the Bengals wish it were? Sunday, that's my fun day, because it's my Friday. 
Okay. So I actually enjoyed my days off. I don't think I did anything too stupid. I did buy two Spastic Collectibles $30 mystery boxes. The hunt for the gold, yellow, emblem, metallic chase Batman. I have the regular one. doesn't have the gold emblem. But, uh, oh my gosh, that would be so awesome to get. And then I did win an auction. This is not what I won in the auction. But this is the comic variant cover of the Batman pop that I won in an auction. So, the Batman Who Laughs is on its way to me. And it's funny about that because the dude that was selling it, that had it for after auction, his shipping that he had listed was like $18. And I sent him a message. I'm like, dude, there's no way anybody is going to enter an auction that somebody in the United States is shipping to some other place in the United States with $18 shipping. Like, that is 300% more than what it would actually cost you to ship. He sent me a message. He was a little bit irked. And was like, that's the way I've always shipped. Blah, blah, blah. I ship priority. That way you get a tracking number. And then, like, a day later, he sent me a message of, like, Sorry, if I lower the shipping price, would you bid on this item? Can you help me out? <laughs> I didn't say anything to him because I was just like, yeah, you know. Well, two days ago, or yesterday, I got another message from him. And he's like, dude, you are the man. Ever since I changed my shipping method, I've sold everything, every, all of my auction items, like instantly. People are bidding like crazy now. And I was like, are you being sarcastic? And he's like, no, I'm totally serious. Because of what you said, I changed my shipping method to first class and lowered the shipping price. So that's cool. But anyway, so yeah, I got the Batman and Left coming from that guy. $5 shipping. That's about what it should be. Like, it should not be $18. Even if it was priority and he's in Georgia, that would have been like $10 or $11. So I don't know where he came up with those prices, but if you're a seller on eBay or if you want to sell on eBay, you got to be conscious about what you're charging people. Like, people are not going to buy something from you if you're trying to make money off of the shipping. My shipping price on eBay is $4.77 across the board. The average price that I see is four seventy six, but I had to have two sevens because that's my number. So yes, I'm overcharging one cent on average for shipping, but they go all over the place. If you go to the your post office to ship, it's going to cost six bucks first class. But as a top rated seller on the Ebays, I get discounted shipping. So that's kind of cool. Got to take a little drink right here. I'm not sure if you can hear it, and actually I'm going to skip this song because what is this? I got Christmas music playing. I'm actually going to play that song. This is my one of my favorite Christmas songs, but it was actually in one of my last videos. Bad lyrics. Good song, bad lyrics. Uh, I don't know what I was talking about. What do we got coming? 
this is UPS, the USPS is supposed to have a trade that I did with uh, Lisa. And she sent the package, the UPS Freight Ground Garbage. It's supposed to arrive yesterday. It's lost in transit. We don't use USPS Freight Ground. It's a horrible shipping method. I think it's more, it costs more than the priority for some reason. Or if it's not more, it's almost the same price. Priority comes with $50 insurance. Priority comes with tracking number. Priority is three days. USPS Freight Ground is eight days. And again, it doesn't cost yeah get out of here it's a remake of do they know it's Christmas no you don't remake that song all right this is gonna be a fun video there's gonna be a lot of thumbs downs and I'm okay with that. My two boys, my guys, maybe it's a girl. I don't know. Maybe it's two girls. Sorry for gender assuming. Um, they've been absent for the last couple of videos. So I'm a little concerned where my thumbs downers are. Where are you guys at? Like, hello. I miss you. I don't know why I like Christmas. I know why I like Christmas music so much. It's just I have really good memories associated with Christmas as a child growing up. My mom loved to decorate for Christmas, and we had some awesome Christmas decorations. Like one of my favorite memories through the years is Decoration Day, where the boxes come out of the attic with the big Christmas written on them, or Xmas, and just decorating the house, putting up the Christmas tree, going to buy a Christmas tree, Christmas morning, uh, just, you know, every, like Christmas music, I just love it, I love Christmas lights, you know that I have Christmas lights in my house all the time, my daily ritual when I get home from work, First thing I do when I get home is to plug in the strand of Christmas lights. It just makes me feel happy. It makes me feel a little... Because I did mention in my video yesterday that my mom passed away. And I miss my mom a lot. A lot. But, uh... I do have a video to edit, and I received a gift from UnlockTheCon.com. Good people. Barry and Ashley. They have an eBay seller page, and they got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of pops for sale and other things. And they will negotiate the price with you. So if you go to their eBay seller page and you say something you like, Go ahead and give them, I mean, obviously they're not going to give it away for free. Like, they're a business, but they'll give you a good deal. And I got a couple really cool things from them. One of the things is right there, right there. You'll have to watch the video to see, but this thing was like right next to me, so. I got a Marvin the Martian Pez dispenser. So my Marvin the Martian collection, I have all the pops. I now have the Pez dispenser. I'm not going to actively search out the other things. There's like a cereal box, there's a cereal bowl, uh, there's dorbs, there's, I don't know, there's a bunch of other Marvin stuff, but I got the pops, I have the Pez dispenser. I'm happy with that. I am going to talk one more time 
Actually, it won't be one more time because I'm going to keep freaking talking about this. I just, it's hard doing the fake things. Funky and scrappy. That deserves a thumbs down. Sorry. You guys need to go check out Funky and Scrappy. He has a mystery box right now. I've had a few of my buddies, a few of my peeps, get one. Because I cannot say enough that these are awesome boxes. You're going to kick yourself in the ass if you don't get one of these. One person is going to get a box that's worth 75 bucks. I hope it's me. I really do. Everybody else is going to get boxes that are $100 or more. There's numerous boxes that are over the value of the price that you pay. There are some amazing pops in these boxes. There's a Pulp Fiction vaulted entire set. There's a Big Trouble in Little China, six pop collection, the entire set. There's the Ochako, Ochuku, uh, whatever, that unmasked or mask thing. There's like a Hawkman, I don't know. You need to go look at the site. Like, I'm saying things that I shouldn't be because they're not correct. Like, I'm not even saying the name of the person correctly. But anyway, Ochako unmasked, Ochoko, whatever. There is a freaking metallic slee stack. I want that one. It's a set with HR Puff and stuff. Land of the Lost, the original series back in the 70s, was amazing. Like, if I watch an episode of that now, I would probably laugh my ass off with how bad the special effects are. But as a kid, it was amazing. And I don't I still don't understand because the slee stacks were these little, weird little alien things. And there was like a cave where they had these crystal shards that they would put into this table. And it did something, I don't know. Slee stack. Memory childhood. Awesome. I want the slee stack. I want the Big Trouble in Little China set. Probably going to buy a couple more on my next paycheck, which will be in two weeks. Because he's not going to ship them until they sell out. Which sucks. <laughs> but I understand because when you ship out boxes that have big prizes... If people pull the big prizes, you're not going to sell any more boxes. Which is why I kind of think if I ever did a mystery box, which I might do someday, um, it would probably only be 15 to 20 boxes. Because, uh, you know, I understand why people make big box runs when they're new to mystery boxes. It's weird. Just make a, make a box run size that you're going to sell out and it, you get the exposure. People get to experience your boxes and, you know, because of the quarantine thing, people are having a lot of fun doing mystery boxes battles, mystery box battles with Instagram people. So I don't think I have enough crap to do a mystery box right now, but in the future, if I do, it'll probably only be 20 boxes. Probably be $15 a box. Guaranteed value. I'm just thinking out loud. Because I like the guaranteed values. If it was fit, it would be $15 shipped with a guaranteed value of $10. But there would be five of the 20 boxes that were $20 in value or above. There would be two boxes that were $30 or above, and one box that was worth $50. Bucks. It's not bad. 
I don't think. I mean, it might be bad for me, but it wouldn't be bad for the people that were buying it. As you can see or hear, I have a lot of energy. I've been waiting for this thing. Like it was supposed to arrive yesterday. And because it didn't, I kind of lost my mind a little bit. So in here is going to be some Waffleopagus things. And speaking of Waffleopaguses, this is going to be in a Waffleopagus. I have the uh, Bigfoot. Where did I put the Bigfoot? I have the Rainbow Bigfoot. Maybe I sold it. I think I might have sold it. But these things are super cool. I ordered uh, the Batman one from the Pop Cure. So hopefully it'll get here before Christmas. But these are definitely Waffleopagus worthy. I got two of these. So I'm keeping one. Waffleopagus. This one's dented on the bottom. Huh. Floppagus. Maybe I should just start calling him Floppagus. Yes, I know. I am totally delaying the opening of this box. I got this at 7 Eleven yesterday. I used to drive a 1972 Volkswagen Beetle. Mine was the powder blue one. I have a lot of good memories with that car and a lot of bad memories with that car. I don't think I've gone into my past on any of these videos, but my past isn't the best. My present is the best. But yeah, I used to do bad things. I don't anymore. I mean, I still do some bad things, obviously. Which is why certain companies won't sell to me. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's just complaining about shipping policies and their customer service. It's whatevs. Uh, two hundred and fifty dollar Pop King Paul mystery box. There were three full pages of pops that were in this box. One of them was the Funkoween Harvest Batman, which I want really bad. And then there were the Top Bulls, and I don't remember what they are. This sucker is heavy. This thing is three pounds, 10 ounces. Like this thing is heavy. Listen. So, I don't know. I mean, that could mean that there's a hard stack in it. I would like to welcome all the people that have fast forwarded up to this point. We're going to get into this $250 Pop King Paul mystery box right now. I've had a lot of fun talking for 24 minutes about shit. Uh, I hope to be on a live stream later on tonight. You guys are like, dude, you just said you're going to open up the box. I know. Okay. I am. I just need to talk. I got, I got stuff that I need to say. All right, there are six pops in here. Okay, we're back in focus. There are six pops in here. They are all in paw protectors. There is a hard stack. So we'll open up that one last, obviously. Okay. The first pop. 
out of the $250 Pop King Paul Mr. Box is Spider Gwen Unhooded. The Hot Topic exclusive. Oh, I like the Doctor Strange. Ooh, I like the Doc. Oh. I mean, I'm not going to get any of these. I am unfamiliar with She-Hulk. Like, is that in an upcoming movie, or did I just sleep through a year where there is a She-Hulk? I feel kind of dumb right now, because I don't, I don't remember a She-Hulk thing. I'm doing a little bit of rearranging, sorry. Oh, that's backwards. Okay. Let's go ahead and look up the uh, Spider Gwen. Nine bucks. I'm cool with that. Remember, this was two hundred and fifty dollars with a guaranteed value of fifty. It's a really risky. No, I'm just kidding. It's a guaranteed value of two hundred fifty bucks. All right, second. I know somebody that's going to want this. You know who you are. Sam from Trick or Treat. From the cult hit Trick and Treat comes Sam. The mischievous spirit of Halloween. Who enforces the holidays ancient traditions. One, wear a costume. Two, hand out treats. Three, never blow out a jack-o'-lantern. Four, always check your candy. To the untrained eye, Sam looks like any other trick-or-treater. But what lurks under the burlap sack and orange footy pajamas is anything but sweet. What has he got in his hand? I can't tell. Oh, it's like a... Oh, it's a... Orange half moon thing. It's probably his weapon, I guess. I don't know. Welcome to my home, Sam. I looked it up before somehow. Why did I look that up? I why is this not in a heart stack like what's in my heart stack this is <laughs> I bet some of you that were watching this were just like this is a 2014 pop that has a value of $110 this is a $110 pop And we still have a hard stack. So we're at $119 in value so far. In our $250 mystery box. What um, what just happened? Alright, pop number three. I'm feeling this is worth the wait. That's cool.
the Swamp Thing. Another one of these PX previews. Okay. I thought there might have been some scratching, but it was actually on the protector. Good news. This is for 14 and above. A lot of them are 3 and above. And I learned why. Because they have little pieces that could break off and choke. What? Swathings Heroes. How is this affiliated with the Batman Empire? Uh, condition is amazing. I love the condition of this one. And he does send all of his pops, at least these ones, in the uh, seven bucks a pop. Pop shield, pop protectors. It is, I would say this is 9.7 out of 10. It actually still has that crisp cardboard feel to it. But there's like just tiny little... You can't even see. There's, I mean, just a micro imperfection on this ridge right here. $110, guys. That shit cray. Swamp Thing. Eighty two. That was a good year. That was twelve. What do you know? I said twelve, it's worth twelve. So one nineteen plus twelve is $176. I'm totally kidding. I was using a freaking calculator. It's not that about. Uh, let's get this out. Okay, so the actual total is 131. We still have three pops, and one of them is in a hard stack. This one's heavy. What is this box? Just kidding, I have no idea what this is worth. That's pretty cool. Venom Pool. The Game Reverse. GameStop. Exclusive Auto. I just made up a word. This pop protector still has all the little shrink wrap crap on it. I'll just leave it there for now. Super, super cool pop. I don't like the Venom stuff. There's too many of them. But this one is actually one of the coolest ones I've seen. The Venom Pool. With phone. Oh. Yeah, he's got a phone in his hand. It's uh, back there. You can't see it because of Christmas lights. There you go. Now you can see it. Venom Pool with phone. Fifteen bucks. Not bad. Brings the total of this two hundred and fifty dollar mystery box to one hundred and forty six bucks. Cool. And the last box not in a hard stack. I'm still so crazy that. That one pop was $110. Another horror pop. Of 
I watched like the first couple movies with Hannibal Lecter in them, but I don't know who the heck this guy is. Like, who is this? He's got the plastic mask on. Mask. This is an older pop too. This is 2014. Um, feels like there might be some warpage going on with this pop. Nope, it was just the pop protector. Pop protector did not get uh, folded down correctly. Like this edge right here is not crisp. So it was all rounded, so I thought maybe the pop was also bulged out, but uh, most, like I haven't received any Pop King Paul box that had any damage to my knowledge. Like he just, he gets amazing collections and then passes those along to us in the form of mystery boxes. There's Will Graham from Hannibal. I don't know what the heck that character is right there. Like, why is there a reindeer? You guys, we have a pop and a heart protector that we're about to pull out. After we look up Will Graham. I like the name Graham because it's Graham. I like ham. Twenty-seven dollars. All right. So that brings the total of these five pops to one hundred and seventy-three dollars. All right. It means that this pop in this hard stack has to be worth $77 to bring us to value. Why would you put a pop that's worth $77 in a hard stack? You don't. So I'm going to pause here for a second because I'm freaking out a little bit. Obviously, I'm going to be right back because the magic editing will allow me to be like, boom, here I am. So we need $77 in value to hit our 250 guarantee. Whoosh. There's the top. I don't know where the front is. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure this is a really good one. <laughs> the black and white. Captain America. Barnes and Noble exclusive. We did pretty good. Pretty freaking good. Or not. <laughs> Too bad it's not the glow in the dark hot topic. Um, this is only a hundred dollar pop. I mean, so we, we still did fine. It's interesting that the Sam is worth more, or was it the same? I don't know. So we got $273 in value out of this $250 mystery box. That was kind of anticlimactic, to be honest. <laughs> we didn't get the Funkoween Batman, but we did just fine 
and there's going to be some amazing waffleopaguses with this. And I got another hard stack, which is cool. It's always good to have hard stacks. I'm still waiting for one of those seven bucks a pop hard stacks. Good box, worth the wait, because the way waffle apicuses go, you end up making a little bit more money than what their PPG is. People get the opportunity to win a pop for a small investment. I love waffle apicuses. I've won a few. But there you go. 273 bucks. We got the Captain America. Black and white. Barnes and Noble. We got the Gamer Pool. The Venom Pool. That's cool. We got the Swamp Thing. Which is somehow affiliated with Batman. Don't know who the heck this is. From Hannibal. And we got the Spider Gwen unmasked. And then the Sam. So these are the two big poles out of this. They have pretty equal value. One of them is in a hard stack, the other's not. But I was so shocked when I saw the value on this thing. I kind of wish this thing was not worth as much because that would have meant that this thing would have been worth a lot more. But it's still a really good box. Like, we're going to get back $300 out of this box, which allows the journey to continue. So, there's going to be a lot of editing on this. There is literally a five minute window where I wasn't even here so I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, I did talk quite a bit a lot of you like it my thumbs down buddies will let me know that they did not but uh, yeah that's it I'll talk to you guys later I love you guys have a great day. I'm enjoying my day off. Mm -hmm.